Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you Grand Theft Auto 5 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac via Crossover. So GTA 5 was one of the first games that I tried to get working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and I was trying to run this through Crossover at the time and the game just would not launch. And later on we discovered that the game could run through Parallels which is a virtual machine software and that was allowing a 64-bit application to be emulated through a virtual machine and that ran okay at the time but it didn't necessarily compare that well against other Windows gaming laptops that are contemporary to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And thankfully a few days ago a Reddit user named Parent made a post on the Mac Gaming subreddit showing GTA 5 running on Crossover and they posted footage and some basic instructions which I followed here. I'm going to leave a link to this post in the description and also to their video as well. So I'm just going to demonstrate the performance difference. So on the left I've got the original Parallels footage and that's running at 1080p at a 50% render resolution. So it's basically half the resolution of 1080p. And as you can see in this footage it's stuttering a little bit and it doesn't look particularly impressive. But when you really think about what's actually happening here, this is a 64-bit game that is being emulated on the Windows ARM operating system that's being virtualized on the Mac operating system and it's running on an ARM chip. So when you consider the fact that there's so many levels of emulation and translation involved, it's actually very impressive that this game runs at all. So you can see on the right I'm running crossover at 1080p at medium settings and it's much much smoother. It's running double the resolution of the Parallels version of the game on the same machine. And that's because Crossover is a compatibility layer that has access to much more resources of the M1 Apple Silicon Mac than the Parallels Virtual Machine does. And on the Parallels Virtual Machine, the game is running on four cores and four gigabytes of RAM, whereas Crossover has access to all the cores of the CPU and also all eight gigabytes of RAM. So naturally, the Crossover version is going to be much, much faster. However, this does come with some caveats for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac if you want to play this today. So one of the first components that we're going to need is a fully cracked copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. Now this is because the Rockstar Launcher is an integral part of Grand Theft Auto 5 and that simply is not compatible with Crossover. So when you try to launch the game, the game will just keep searching and searching for the Rockstar Launcher and if it doesn't find it, it won't let you continue. Now I don't feel that bad about using a cracked copy of the game because I already own three legal copies. I have my PS3 version, I have my Epic Game Store version and I have my Steam version as well. I've already tried using the No GTA 5 Launcher mod which normally bypasses the Rockstar requirement but this is not working via crossover at the moment. So therefore the only way to actually get this game to run at all is to run a fully cracked copy of the game. Now I'm not going to supply actual instructions on how to acquire this game. The version that I'm actually testing is called the Canex 77 version. So it's a C-A-N-E-K version and it's 84 gigabytes in size. So this is a disclaimer. Please be very careful about what you download from the internet, only download from reputable sources. And secondly, please support our game developers and publishers. If they don't get paid, then computer games can't get made. So please support and buy your software. The only reason I'm condoning this method is because it is the only way to get Grand Theft Auto to run on crossover because it bypasses the Rockstar launcher and this is a particular form of DRM and if we could actually find a method to run the Grand Theft Auto 5 game, for example modifying an existing Steam installation or a Rockstar installation, then I would definitely prefer that method. But until that happens then we're going to have to settle with this particular method. So the next thing you're going to need is a copy of the crossover software. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. It's an affiliate link and if you use this you're going to help support me and support Apple Gaming Wiki website. And all you need to do is to enter the Apple Gaming Wiki promo code here and then you'll apply a discount which is 25% off and you'll receive a much lower price for Crossover. And Crossover is really worth supporting. So if I look at the M1 compatible games master list on the Apple Gaming Wiki website, you'll see that there are lots and lots of games which work perfectly through Crossover on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Codeweavers, the company which maintains the software, also maintain the Wine project and also the Proton project. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. 
So the setting I'm using for my crossover bottle is fairly standard. If I right click on my Steam bottle here, I've got the Performance Enhanced Graphics turned on, the DXVK backend for DirectX 11, and also Performance Enhanced Synchronization, also known as eSync. All of those are turned on. I also have the DirectX for modern games installed into this bottle as well, so you'll need to do that if you haven't done that yet. And then what you can do is to use the run command to find the exe file for Grand Theft Auto 5. So you can just browse here and find the unpacked Grand Theft Auto 5 exe and then run that from here. The last thing you're going to need is a controller of some kind. That's because Grand Theft Auto 5 has a long-standing issue with wine where certain keyboard presses will actually cause massive lag in the game. And what happens is that if you make any kind of keyboard press while in the story mode, then the entire game will lag for about four seconds and then just continue as normal. You can't actually move around and the only actual way to control the game is with a controller. So the controller that I use is the official Xbox One wireless controller. I believe that we can use other controllers too. I'll leave a link to this controller in the description. So the last thing I want to talk about is the settings that I used in the actual game itself in the footage that's being shown right now. So I kept the graphics settings relatively modest. So it's running at 1080p. The anti-aliasing settings are actually turned off and also the density settings are relatively low and all the other settings are kept at normal or are turned off. So it's actually possible to get better graphical fidelity at not much of a performance cost. I'm not actually much of an expert at tweaking games like Grand Theft Auto 5. However, if you have a config that works better and looks better than the footage that I'm showing you now, please share it in the comments or come to our Discord. I'm sure that we can actually optimize this game even better than it looks right now. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you do make use of this tutorial and manage to install Grand Theft Auto 5 on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, please leave a comment. Please also join our Discord, a link will be in the description. If you find a better way to run this game or are able to modify a legal installation of this game, then please leave a comment or join us on the Discord and we'll be able to improve the way that this particular game runs on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All right, we gonna do this? Huh? <laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. <coughs> oh, there it is. Remember, just the non-sequential bills. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. We're done here, let's go. Coming out, B! Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face, I'll remember you. You forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes! He's crazy! No one's crazy, I think. Be cool. Fuck! She didn't have to do that! Let's get going! There'll be time for grieving later! Yeah, you got that right. Let's go! I'm setting the charges! They're on a timer, so brace yourselves! You hear that? Sirens! <coughs> Fuck the cops! T, hit the shutter switch! What's this? Local resistance? It ain't supposed to go down like this! It never is! Come on! Go! Come on, guys! Back the fuck down! Move! 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 move. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die breathing right! Drop it, prick! Don't be as dumb as you look! I ain't laying down for them! Who snitched? They answered the wrong call! We bring it to them! What the fuck is this? Get out of the way! 
Get out of here! Get out of the way or suffer the consequence! Let's get out of here! Can't be many more cops in this town! Bring him! This is fucked, man! The thing is blown! I got my share!